What's going on guys, this is Mel Thompson and today I'm going to be talking about my pink design bag. The pink design bag have been interested in me for a while now so I went and got some from Japan. This is hella expensive in Thailand. And I'm not going to be doing a full review of these bags but I think there's something I should mention. And those of you who are interested in buying one should keep this in mind. I'm gonna tell you after the months I've been using them, what flaws I have encountered and how I fixed them. Let's start with the Peak Design Sling 10 liters. Let me tell you this one did not come with the bag but I added myself and I'm gonna tell you why in a minute. What's good about this bag, I'm not gonna be telling you that because you probably have heard it from other channels that have been doing reviews of this anyway. There's so many people talking about it so I'm gonna just talk about why I don't like it that much. What flaw I have encountered. First, it fits so much in such tiny package and the fact that it fits so much in there just makes you wanna keep stuffing in stuff. Especially as a videographer or photographer, you always wanna bring gears just in case. So you tend to put more stuff, more than you need in this bag, just knowing that it fits. But the problem is, is the one strap shoulder bag. And that is gonna put a lot of pressure on your shoulder and give you pain for days. Another flaw that I have found is, first, this quick sling, snappy thing is nice. It's a quick adjuster, but on this end, Peak Design calls it a long-term adjuster or some a long-term adjuster, yeah. The thing is, when you put gears in your bag, this thing keeps stretching out, stretching out. It keeps loosening itself. So long-term adjusters, not really long-term. You have to readjust it really often. and put this back. This is due to the weight of the gears you carry. For me, I think it's still fine. I can work around that, which is why I went to get my old belt, cheap old fake leather belt, and put it on this end, tie it on this end, and boom. I turned it into a backpack. <laughs> now the weight is more distributed, more evenly throughout my two shoulders. I like having this one strap on my one shoulder. And the quick access is still a quick access, just like backpack with side opening. It works fine. So I'll still keep using this one, but the next one, Peak Design Everyday Backpack, 20 liters. The reason I bought this is because I thought, man, I wish I could fit a lot more and not feel my shoulder pain. So I thought, two straps, all right, could, could solve the problem and fit a lot more. This is 20 liter, that sling is 10 liters. But now in 2018, I've found far better and cheaper options so i hope this video helps those of you who is considering buying peak design this one go for it i, I still like it but this one uh i wouldn't recommend it man unless you want to get shoulder pains <laughs> i hope you found this video helpful if you did hit that like button and subscribe if you want i'm not forcing you but if you wanna then subscribe. <laughs> Alright, this is Mel Thompson. I'll see you in the next video. Let's get. And I'm sorry if I ever came off as aggressive, but the weather is hot in Thailand, so I'm sorry. <laughs>